So welcome to our hydraulic system training utility. Uh, this is essentially teach you about the main features of a hydraulic power unit and control valve. It is intended primarily for um, school and college students. It comes with a teacher's lesson plan, but uh, certainly gives you exercises to do at home. So we'll look at the first section, and it says here to operate an industrial power unit. So uh, we need to operate a system. Uh, we can see all the different other different sections in here, but we just step through them here. So the first section is to operate, and basically you slide the control valves, or add your figures in here. You can change the load pressure, you can change the pump settings and the valve settings. So really, you can experiment with the settings, and you can see what happens in this section with the flows and the pressures. So essentially you learn about it by experimenting. Uh, the next section gives you a mouse over to explain the products and the next section checks whether you've learned it by allowing you to drag and drop to build the equipment up. Uh, and the next section we're getting a little bit more complicated so now you need to identify the pressure control valves. Uh, that wasn't one and you get a negative score so if you get it right you get uh, it's actually a can control the pressure of those valves so it gives you a plus score so you go through these different exercises we've got identifying flow control valves and identifying filters as well so nice little exercises to do uh, more mouse over as we know getting more complicated again looking at the uh, maintenance uh, things you need to do for maintenance for each component or how to test them and typical faults so it's giving you more information you need that information for the next sections which are the diagnostic and other exercises this exercise means you need to find the orifice size the valve orifice size to give you 60 liters a minute uh, at 75 bar so you can set the conditions up here to give that to find out what it is or do the calculations yourselves uh, the next one is we've built in a fault, so one of these valves is set wrongly, you need to find out what that is. Uh, and then we come on to the, there are a few little diagnostic exercises, so uh, if you're a look and listen is the first thing you do, and this tells you in this box here what actually you're listening and what, what's happening. Uh, you can check with temperature, so you check the circuit, you have to diagnose what's wrong with it, something in here is wrong, um, and then click on the item, it wasn't the uh, gear motor, click on the item that you think is incorrect to get your score which you then post to your teacher with the email button that appears up there so we've got a number of diagnostic exercises for you to do uh, carrying on we've got some more calculations now um, these calculations are important for power units uh, it is important how high you are it all affects the inlet pressure on the pump which is key for pump life and reliability so that gives you the factors um, you can run your own exercises, make your own calculations to double check. Uh, we've got the power loss or efficiency of the system. So the power you're putting in and out from your electric motors and things, you can calculate it there for sizing equipment. And finally, uh, we've got the pressure drop in the pipe. So frictional losses, <coughs> they're not generally not significant as long as you keep your fluid velocities correct but uh, over long pipe route they can be they do have an effect on the system particularly on the low pressure side of things so you need to check them and understand them and this will allow you to double check your calculations uh, gives you the Reynolds number and um, the different pressures based on flow velocities so that's quite important uh, there are lots of other calculations on the website uh, but this is a nice little utility to introduce you every to everything and give you lots of exercises to do if you look at the lesson plans and the teacher's notes online. Okay.